the amount it's of It's done! Hair. Exactly! We use the appropriate amount for the bottom half of your face. Now we're gonna move on to the forehead, which will take about four more pumps. I think I really made a bad decision. <laughs> <laughs> She just Probably mad. Not gonna upload this video. She just mad. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Queen TV, where I'm a queen, you're a queen. Today, I am gonna have my makeup done by this beautiful queen right here, my sister. So go follow her on all her social media pages. And this is Tatiana Marie. And Fitness Motivation Tatiana and at Makeup by Tatiana Murray. Okay. Yeah, let's sorry. do this. So I am a talented beast at makeup. And everybody knows that. So I'm really going to be perfecting her face for the first time. So, so this will be I will be doing her face, but this will be a tutorial for you guys, so you can learn how to do your own. So, we're going to start off by priming. I'm assuming you moisturized already. Good. So, we're going to start off by primer. We're going to use Fenty Pro Filter Balancer. What? The, um, <laughs> 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 right. the Pro Filter. Prior. And we're gonna do one squirt, two squirts. And I'm gonna have the client rub that in her face. So now we will be applying foundation. All of that wasn't necessary. But it's always necessary. And you don't, do you don't have your shot. eyebrow. Oh, yes, you can. You don't do eyebrows first or eyeshadow first? I do eyebrows first. Okay, so why are we gonna start with foundation? Why are you questioning? We use the NYX eyebrow pomade and the NYX eyebrow brush to do eye. Not every eyebrow is the same. Make sure you study your eyebrow hairs and make sure you're doing your correct shape for your face. I think this is a good time to mention I have my own YouTube page and you should subscribe. Just search my name Tatiana Limtom and you'll find me. And the goal for today is to do this in the appropriate time because we're all busy queens trying to make it out there in the big world and we do not have time to be doing this all day. So. I'm gonna see the margarita. I think that egg got a little drunk of fever. You use a pomade when you want your brows snatch snatch. Sometimes you don't want your brows snatch snatch. You just want them to be natural natural, which is okay. That, then you use an eyebrow pencil and feather your brows and look natural natural. Alrighty. So once you outline your eyebrows, you're gonna wanna outline the outside perimeter of the eyebrow. Um, and that will make it look even more put together. And make it seem like you did more work than you did. Oh wow, this is a great brush. So I will put the concealer on the patient's back side of her hand because that's I am not a patient, first of all. You're right, I'm sorry. And Three minutes. I Amazing. Okay. 
colors. They can't be classic, but they added a little modern comedy in there oh with um, Timon and Pumbaa. I'm gonna tell you more about me since she doesn't want to talk about her sister. Um, my name is Kevin and I am going into my third year of college. I go to the University of Georgia. And. Did you just say Georgia? No. It's just Georgia. It's University Georgia. Of Georgia. If you're okay. bougie, it's no, University of Georgia. Jaija. It's Georgia. Jaija. You sound just, like you have a speech impediment. We're going to take a dense, short brush just like this one and blend out the highlight around the eyebrows. Okay. Let's talk about keeping your brushes clean. Ladies, queens, I'm going to say it. If you're breaking out, are you washing your brushes? Your brushes hold so much bacteria. If you're not properly cleaning your brushes on a good schedule, like once a month to clean your brushes, that's better than never cleaning your brushes. Once a week is ideal. But yeah, well, once a week if you wear makeup every day. If you don't, So now we're gonna put on Julia's Place foundation, client's back of the hand. No, I, I don't want that on the back of the okay, hand. Okay, I'm doing your makeup. Put so it. Me, Queenie. Put it on my beauty blender. I mean, no, back of your hand, like so. And also that controls how much foundation you're using because sometimes we overuse some foundations and we don't need that much. So you put it on the back of your hand or you could put it on like a flat surface, it doesn't matter. Then you Everybody tap it. This yeah, but this is how to make your face look seamless and like a blur. So, if you spread out the product on a, on a flat surface, then, excuse me. You don't need the extra spit. <laughs> and coverage. That will give you an even coverage around your face. Because we don't want to look blotchy. That's not what Hot Girl Summer is about. It's about Summer looking fluff over. What? Summer is not almost over. Summer ends in September. We're about to get into August. Exactly. Back to school time. Hot Girl Summer. And Hot Girl Summer to me, what does Hot Girl Summer mean to y'all? Hot Girl Summer uh, means to me taking, taking control of your life on every aspect. If you want your financial to, excuse me, I'm teaching the queens. If you want your fun, uh, financial um, status or whatever to increase, maybe the, the credit score ain't looking too good, girl. Or maybe you want to save up for a car or a house, whatever. Girl, it's Hot Girl Summer. You do it. Sometimes we think we not good enough. But I want you to know that you always good enough. Especially if you watch this video because now you know how to do your makeup. But that's okay. That's a lot for a forehead. Who said it's all going on the forehead? Can I up to eye doing the makeup? Queens? That's crazy. And this is where my frustration comes from. This is where all my anger comes from. This right here. Yeah, Wow. You see how flawlessly it blended into the eyebrow outline? That is a key. We can't be seeing the distinct line between where you put your concealer around your eyebrow and your foundation. That's not cute. Also, if you're wearing a headband, make sure you lift that bad boy up. Because we will see where the, bad, the headband stopped on your forehead. 
and that is not cute. I'm just out here trying to educate you queens. Also, love your edges. But if you don't lay your edges, that's completely fine as well because we support the naturals. We support the little curls. Now to concealer. So now we're gonna put some concealer on. If you're not doing extravagant eye looks, you don't need to do your eyeshadow first. If you're just doing a natural eye look or whatever, go ahead and do that face. Make it have time to set in so that when you spray your setting powder, it looks odd. When you spray your setting powder? I'm sorry, your setting spray. You see how she, where she is? I'm just over here trying to educate my face. I was just correcting. To brighten her under eye, we need a little lighter. So, then put some of this lighter color underneath. Just a little bit. It'll give it a nice pop underneath the eyes. Press the tab. Just give me Make sure your client is looking up when you blend the under eye because we need to get into all the crevices. All of them. All of them. We're back and we're better than ever. So just make sure the, found, the concealer is nicely blended with the rest of the face. You don't happen to have a contour, do you? I don't have a contour. If you're going to highlight, Can we you should con contour. I'm educating the queens, okay? If you're going to highlight, there is no shame. Don't listen to her. There is no shame and contouring as well, because you're doing the exact same thing. Highlighting adds light to certain areas, where contouring takes away light from certain areas. There is no, you, there is no picking and choosing. Makeup is makeup. Makeup comes off. Okay, girl? Are... We out here hot girl summer. So, now we're gonna start it with Julia's place setting part. It's a buttery yellow color though. Fantastic for us melanin. Here we go. You wanna apply a thin, the thinnest layer over the portions that you highlighted. And you wanna blend it in until it looks like you didn't put any powder on it. There will be a nice little thin layer that you can wipe off after. But the whole point is to try and make make it look like you didn't put anything on it. Because that's how it's going to look. Like you have a filter on your face all day. This is a great setting powder. Highly recommend. It really blends into the skin flawlessly. It really does. But I'm still a Fenty girl. She hasn't tried the Fenty powders. I haven't, but I still... The Fenty powder? I haven't. Setting powder? I said I haven't. No. Oh, haven't. Articulation. Listening as well. Articulation, because I can hear one thing, but then you probably didn't articulate. Anyway, I said I haven't. But I'm still... It's super good. Pro. So if Quintana says she doesn't contour, here's the difference between contouring and rounding. Contouring is using gray tone colors to really give your face structure, whereas bronzing is using warmer colors to add some warmth to the skin. I'm gonna use this Juvia's Place palette. Obviously, you should be sponsored. And we're gonna go ahead and bronze. Make sure the color matches your skin because we don't wanna be looking orange. Let's do this. Circular motions. Yeah, you got 
guys, I charge to do people's makeup $25 is what I charge currently because I am just starting. But if you want to see some of my work, Makeup by Tatiana Marie. I do prom, I do weddings. Ooh, she knows. I can. <laughs> and I actually do do prom though. Did I? Did yes, I you did. It yes, you did. Point? Yes, you did. I said. Yes, you did. I said it at the wedding point because I never. Why is she moving? Does she not want to go to work, Queens? Can you hurry up? I've been I back. couldn't reach. I couldn't reach. I've been back for two minutes. Next, I apply blush. I'm doing your makeup. I'm fully aware of what's in there because I bought it for you. But I'm doing your makeup. Are we clear on that? I'm going to use the Juvia's Place palette. If you haven't noticed, we're fans of using eyeshadows as face products. Just like Using the Juvia's Place, and I like to use the orange in moderation as a blush because orange looks great on the lid. All right, it adds a flush of color, and that's key just because you don't want to look too dimensional. Let me teach you about this palette before you go purchasing it. You don't know anything about this palette, so it's, I'm also teaching you. It's James Charles. Oh, wow. Who could tell? Yeah, can you show let me? Sh let me tell them about the okay. palette. Okay. Because you don't know about go the palette Go ahead. Anyways, these middle, this middle row right here is a transition row. These eyeshadows should be used normally, like circular motions around the eye, whatever. You decide how you want to use those. However, each and every color that's not in the middle row needs to be patted. This is usually what goes for Morphe's palettes in general, but since James' palette was very popular, people did not know this, and so they started complaining about stuff they did not know about. So let me teach you about it. Oh, my foot is asleep. The top part says, unleash your inner artist. Yeah, because it kind of looks like a paint palette. Mm. But make sure you make sure you pat these colors in to get that pigmentation going. If you just go ahead and start blending, it's gonna fade away because these are highly pigmented shadows. All right, do your research before you buy products. Five eighteen, that orange. Ooh. Why are you using those names? This five eighteen. Is the orange. Why do you name it 518? We're gonna do a purple look today. So right now she's using 10% off. Spend time blending your eyeshadow, especially the outer corner. That's what's gonna differentiate you from a not, a, like a just beginner makeup artist, from somebody who takes their time and does their job right. Excuse me. Right now, she's using Love that. Notice how I'm patting this color on. Even though I didn't really put that much on the brush, I kind of wanted just a faint, uh, what, a faint? A tint of this violet color. 
All right, and then I'm gonna use one more color. She's using the one next to that called Artistry. And with shimmers, you wanna apply it with your finger. Well, mm -hmm. you can do it however you want. You shall not. But if you use your finger, it actually really intensifies the color and makes it look as if you used like some type of medium to put it on. When all you did was use your finger. So this is a very subtle eye look. It's not too flashy. If you want it to be more flashy though, cut out your your lid and then put, apply it. Look now good. you want, it's very important if you do a dramatic eye or at least like a subtle one, make sure you do your, the under eye too. You can't just be having one or the other. So she's going in with 10%. And a trick you guys can use, I never tell anybody this, but since I love the queens, um, uh, you need to, uh, it's just easier if you use the colors you used in your transition on the bottom lash line. All right, queens, once you're done with the eye look, make sure you just run a fluffy brush underneath your eye to catch out catch any fallout that may have occurred during your process. Now, the client will put on her own mascara, cause I don't have, now we're gonna highlight. I'm going to take the Warrior Palette by Juvia's Place again, and I'm gonna use a combination of these middle shimmers, or I'm sorry, these middle shimmers going down and create a nice neutral highlight that you won't see when you turn to the front because that cast is not cute. I asked her simply not to look at her eye look. And guess what she did? I looked. Who else that in the the temples because that adds a lot of dimension to the face and then we're gonna do a little under brow highlight um, oh. I'm gonna use a different color than I have been using Now, the only thing left is to spray and lips. Always spray too much. Take the booty of your sponge and blend in everything. This will create an, you know, make sure everything's marinated together. You don't wanna see the highlighter, the contour, the foundation. We don't want sharp lines. So this is the final look that she did today. I think she did a pretty good job. Um, I like the colors and I like how it's very subtle. But um, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.